As she entered her 20s, Makira Armstrong was headed down the wrong path. I was running the streets and fighting people when they looked at me the wrong way. Armstrong pleaded guilty to assault, robbery, and weapons charges. I would be sitting in, in a jail cell right now if I had to complete this program. The program she started after moving from the regular court system to this one. Wellness court's now open. In wellness court, there's less emphasis on punishment and more focus on recovery. The courtroom's appearance says it all. It's decorated with messages of inspiration and artwork from participants. We look at um, not so much the offense, but what got people in trouble to begin with, and then try and address those issues. They pretty much showed me, uh, do you want to go to jail and have a criminal record? and live that life. Since this court started 10 years ago, several others have been established in Nova Scotia, growing momentum for a different way of responding to mental illness and addictions. Other parts of Canada have opened similar courts. They are sometimes dismissed as a get out of jail free card. But at this meeting, wellness court planners rejected several applications from people whose cases didn't meet the criteria for mental health or addictions programs. Some participants are sent back to regular court for breaking conditions. The presiding judge, Pamela Williams, says it's far from perfect, but she says more often than not, it works. And I think as a society, we're, we're beginning to see that uh, criminalizing mental health and addiction issues um, is, not, um, is not the road to success. Compassion and empathy are a better bet, according to Tommy Abriel, who credits Wellness Court with turning his life around. I was in um, treatment programs, learning tools of how to cope with mental illness, the mental illness that I have. Abriel now serves on committees that help shape policy in the province, finding new ways for people like Makira Armstrong to make a life worth living. I'm hopeful for my future. She's preparing for a post-secondary education, adjusting the scales of justice. Ross Lord, Global News, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia.